just as bad as real sugar, though? I, I think it's worse. Yeah. Sweet and low? How's that? Stevia is pretty good. That's yeah. supposed to be the natural That's version. That's supposed to be natural yeah. version. I'm just going to eat on a sugar cane. <laughs> That's the way to go. How are you? Good. Are you good at not doing any sugar? Because I was watching your Instagram posts. Oh, you were? You look like you no, been I'm not doing any. I, I, well, no, I am now, but I wasn't doing any any sugar. I've never done that. No sugar for that long of a time, and that was interesting. What and happened I, to your body? I don't, I, <laughs> I don't know if I liked it or not. I think I liked it. I did feel pretty good. You know what I? You know what I got from not eating sugar? This whole interview won't be about this, but it was my joints. The joints that are sore sometimes, and knees sore sometimes, my elbows are sore sometimes, once I stopped eating sugar, it disappeared. Oh, wow. Disappeared. Now that I've eaten a few, you know, donuts and all that, it, it's come back. Oh, that sucks. So what's the lesson? Don't eat the donut <laughs> unless you really like it. But it them. makes you moody, though, when you stop eating sugar. I mean, For a little while. And then it, then it's great. And the energy levels are great and everything's great. It's just a discipline, you know? I mean, I got to do it for a movie, so... I had that in mind. It was for a reason. It's hard to keep it as a lifestyle, but you know, we work, we try. Yeah, you wouldn't do that. Like, keep that fit as... Not that fit. No. No, that's not, I have no interest in that. But I do have an interest in being fit, but not like that. This is probably not good for you. I mean, that was a crazy discipline, you know? I mean, it was two and a half hours of working out a day and no sugar and no fruits and no... A very like weighing your food and all that kind of stuff and yeah, that's fine for a while but not now. Not fun for other people to be around that. <laughs> no, I wasn't in a bad mood. I was actually in a great mood. I was in a great mood. I wasn't in a bad mood. It's the sugar that makes you all hmm. crazy. Anyway, what o what other dietary things do you want to talk about? <laughs> I was looking at your Instagram and I got so obsessed with your Instagram posts because they're so long and amazing and you put so much into it. Do you and enjoy that a lot, being able to like express yourself. I enjoy that Instagram is supposed to be one thing and that I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't, I'm not interested in a bunch of selfies. I'm not interested in that kind of self-promotion. I like that we're, you know, we're, we're loosening up a little bit and promoting movies that we really care about and all that. I wouldn't if I didn't care about it. But I write, I've always written a lot and, uh, and it's kind of fun to sit there and see a photograph and be inspired by a photograph and then just start writing a story based on the photo. Some are fiction, some are real, some are, it depends. It's however I feel at that moment. You know, I used to put on the bottom my treasure chest and that's kind of what it is. It's like what I put in my box in my attic, that stuff that I think is fun and that I get to look back on once in a while and I, with my wife, I go, oh, remember that, remember that? It's kind of like its own photo album. So but we do it for us. We don't really do it for anybody else. But people appreciate it, and I like it because it's authentic, I think. Yeah, and you learn things. Like you were describing on the red carpet, the, thing, the thoughts that goes through your mind. Yeah. When you're at the red carpet and you're like meeting all these people you don't know. No. Who they are, maybe, and you have to no pretend, idea. and they have to pretend. Totally. It's all pretend, you know? I mean, it's not all <laughs> pretend, and that's what's nice about this movie is you're on the red carpet and there's a hundred first responders and you're bumping fists and shaking hands and there's something really lovely about that, you know, because you know that you've done something to represent them in an honest way and hopefully the most accurate way that you can, you know, and then other things on Instagram is when there's nothing going on and I'm by myself in my house and, you know, I look outside and I see a squirrel or something, I start writing, I mean, whatever, it doesn't, it's all, it's all an inspiration, that's the point, it's all very inspiring. It's and it's all fairly honest. If I think something is full of shit, then I write about it. You know, that's okay with me. I don't have a lot of consequence around it because I think people expect it at this point. And the Chanel number no. five thing. That and the did. Chanel number five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was that was an older thing, but that was fun. There's not enough room in this tank for all of us. Chanel number no. five. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. So, so talking about uh, yeah, so bravery. About that one. But, <laughs> so this movie did did make you, you know, did it make you think about like how brave am I as a person going into something? It like did. This? That's the first time anybody's asked that question. Um, it did because you you start to think about if I were in this situation, how would I deal with it? I like to think of myself as a brave brave person or for really lack of a better word or an old school word, a masculine person, somebody who's gonna take care of his family, somebody who's gonna protect his family, provide for his family, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I've been in a lot of 
tougher situations, but never a situation like that, you know, where you're going out every day and you're putting yourself in peril for other people's safety. You're putting yourself in unsafe situations for other people's benefit. And that's why I was, I was, I'm always very humbled and very inspired by first responders and, and wildland firefighters particularly because they don't have water, they have shovels, they have, you know, they, 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 uh, pickaxes and all that kind of stuff. And, and they're trying to technically figure out a way to design something that's going to stop this monster. And it's kind of insane. There's something that's, it's not insane, but the, just the thought of it is insane. It takes a certain type of person to be inspired to want to do that. And I like being around those people. They're very, very, very inspiring and humbling to me. Yeah, just met a couple of them here. Oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're good people. Wow, yes, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Keep doing that. Hi there, thanks for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe. Comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye, take care.